is coming to an end. 43 hours and a few seconds later on May 21st. <laughs> and tonight we have the man who has sold this to us. Harold Camping. <laughs> we also have a man who likes to call himself the Pope. <laughs> and joining us from an undisclosed location, we have Jesus himself. Yes. Yes, for evidence, we will be asking him to turn water to wine and we can try and <clears throat> have a party later. <laughs> Jesus, oh fisher of men, I am the Pope. Yeah, I know who you are. So uh, that must be Harold in that ghastly KKK costume. Yes, my lord. I'm Harold Campbell. I'm only wearing this because if my predictions go wrong, I don't want anyone to find me. That's a very good idea, son. Hi, Jay. <laughs> nah, it's Sumitia. Uh, uh, thanks for replying to my tweet. <laughs> and of course, thanks for joining us. Let's uh, cut to the chase. Are you finally um, going to do the second coming day after tomorrow? Um, uh, what do you say, Harold? I believe you will come to save us on 21st May, exactly at 6 p.m. Oh, well, if you have faith, it can move mountains. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have heard enough, okay? For 2,000 years, we Catholics have given our blood and sweat and tears to make you a rock star, a superstar, the most known star around here. We have been killed, for Christ's sake. We have killed for you. Burnt bitches, heretics, Muslims, Jews, Incas, all to make everyone believe that you will be coming again. And when you do decide to finally show up, yeah, you call this crazy Baptist guy? You should have called me. Don't you have a responsibility to your flock? First of all, you are late, very late. You should have been here. That's my watch. Ah, whatever, you should have been here a long time ago. Well, it's better late than never. Oh, no, 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 nine, nine, nine. That is Nick Boot, not a plug for this. Asian moron, shrine, yeah. Why are you always promoting these media guys, yeah? <laughs> How can you have a secret deal with this guy camping? Oh, just look at him. He owns family radio. Christ, I mean, what kind of name is that for a radio station? What the hell is going on, yeah? Stop swearing, man. By the way, you know, you sound a bit Nazi to me. And stop calling me Christ. That sounds too much like a cuss word. You know, call me Jesus, because that's my name. Who is this Christ? And you want to know why I'm late? It's because Antichrist was supposed to be here before me. I just can't walk into a party before it's even started. Who do I fight? You can do anything. You are Jesus. No, I can't. Yeah? I can't even stop you from wearing that silly costume in my name. Excuse me, Jesus. Uh, Jesus, uh, can we talk about the serious uh, burning issue here? Um, I don't know if it's going to burn or flood. Have they already chosen? Uh, Jay, uh, Jay, Jay, uh, let me explain what we are discussing, okay? Mr. Camping here. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Camping here believes that Christian rapture will take place on the 21st of May, 2011, and that the end of the world will take place five months later on October 21st, 2011. So you know it all. You're omnipresent, omnipotent. And omniscient, you are. Really? Rapture, you say? Sounds more like a Barbara Cartland book to me. Again, this rapture? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me explain, my lord. You see, as the rapture is the reference to catching up of one Thessalonian, <laughs> chapter four, verse seventeen, when Christians will be gathered together in the air to meet Christ. <laughs> how can you be so sure? Jesus, how could you do this to us? Yeah, how did? How did? How did camping get to know the exact date when you are coming back? Oh, I just got my math right. Unlike you, I'm a qualified man of science. I'm a civil engineer. Unlike you, who has access to most number of books in this solar system and hasn't read a single one yet. For oh, Christ's sake, shut up! I will kill you! Yeah! Peace, my boys. Let's not act Jewish here. Sir, let me show you my calculations. You, Jesus, has said to have hung on the cross on April 1st, 33 AD. The time between April 1st, 33 AD and April 1st, 2011 is 1,978 years. Hey, Sumit, I think this guy is bluffing. Jesus, 
Come on, pay attention. I, as I was saying. Uh, sorry, uh, please continue. What a fascinating story. As I was saying, point one, if 1,978 is multiplied by 365.242 two days, the number of days in a solar year, not to be confused with the lunar years, the result is 722,449. Point two, the time between April 1 and May 21st is 51 days. 51 added to 722,449 is 722,500. Point four, five into 10 into 17 square, or atonement into completeness into heaven square, also equals to 722,500. Hence the world will come to an end on 21st May 2011. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, please, uh, let me calculate that once again. I think there's an error. Jesus, my Lord, uh, what do you think of this uh, calculation? Guys, I have never been to school, you know? I don't get any of this mumbo jump. You're boring me, man. Sumit, don't you have anything fun to do, you know? I heard you're a funny guy, you know? These two definitely aren't. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go back to my tent. Tent? <laughs> oh, my God! Jesus is camping! <laughs> G if, if camping is camping, Jesus is also camping. I mean, camping has got a portable tent on him. <laughs> now, I don't care if he doesn't turn up. Understand what this means in maths. And you know I'm big on maths. Jesus is camping equals to camping is Jesus. Camping is Jesus. Camping is Jesus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you are Jesus, then who is he? I'm out of work since May Day. I used to be Osama's dummy. It was a good job with benefits plus a 401k. I'm just another guy in a beard. This Indian guy paid me 200 bucks to play Jesus. I thought, what the f***? The world is ending anyway. Oh, I think I'm going to call Richard Dawkins. <laughs> what for? Can he stop the end of the world? No, but he can stop me from believing in God. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Richard. Yes, yes, it's Pope. Yeah. I, I want to be an atheist, Richard. Yeah. Yes, I know me. Atheist. Yes. Save me, please, Richard. What? Eight o'clock. Yes, I'll be there. You will burn in hell. That's one extra place in heaven. Who wants to buy? You can have it if you want. Just call 800 Family Radio and put in your bids right now. Only 43 hours to go. In, in Mumbai, actually, it's only 33 odd hours to go. I'm going to go and buy myself uh, some salvation. But we will be right back with the great end of the world sale. And then, play.